In late 2017, former Chicago drill rapper Lil Baby and his older brother G Money would create their own record label called Grade A Productions and would sign some of the biggest names in hip hop in 2020. Artists like Juice World, The Kid Leroy, and Clever would make the best decisions of their life by signing to Grade A Productions, giving them fortune and success. That's why I call it the Grade A effect, but let's take it back to the beginning so you guys can understand why I call it that. I'm a rock star. I need a rock star bitch. I got a rock star wrist. I'm on some rock star shit. Lil Baby came up out of the 2012 Chicago drill scene with G Herbo, dropping mixtape after mixtape, but his brother G Money would not find himself public success until 2017. While Lil Bibby was coming up, he signed a terrible record deal that stopped him from getting all the money that he should have been earning, and it stopped him from reaching his full potential as an artist, and that would lead to him not dropping music for about a year because he was trying to get out of his bad deal, but since he wasn't dropping any music, he had to find a different way to make money. So Bibby started looking for underground artists inside Chicago to sign with the help of his brother G Money, and eventually in September 2017, they found Juice Road and signed him. At the time, Juice World had already dropped his 999 EP, which included his two breakthrough songs, All Girls Are The Same and Lucid Dreams, but the thing is, those two songs hadn't took off yet. They would only have an audio, but after Juice signed, it gained a little bit of traction from the buzz around Lil Baby signing an artist and from Lil Baby's fans. After Lil Baby saw that the fans were messing with Juice World's music as much as he was, he knew that Juice was gonna blow, but it had to be done the right way, and since Lil Baby was already familiar with the music industry, he already knew the way that had to be done. So he made a phone call to popular music video director and owner of the Lyrical Lemonade channel, Cole Bennett, which they were cool with each other at the time with them both coming up from Illinois. So Bibby put Cole onto Juice World's music and let him know that a Lyrical Lemonade music video to a song would be necessary. And after Cole listened to Juice World's music, he understood what Bibby was talking about. And just like that, Juice World would have a Lyrical Lemonade music video to a song, All Girls Are The Same. That song would do well, but it wasn't until Lil Bibby made Cole shoot another Juice World music video to a song, Lucid Dreams. And that song would make him a mainstream artist and literally have the world in his hands. Life after that for Juice World would be great as his career and his dreams would skyrocket and as he would sell out huge venues and would be considered a top three emo rapper. He would then go on to sign a three million dollar deal with Interscope and would get tons of platinum plaques so whatever happened from then to December 8th will be considered legendary. But that wouldn't be the only star to sign to Grade A Productions as Lil Baby was signed to Kid Leroy. In late 2018, the Australian artist The Kid Leroy would gain Lil Baby's attention as Lil Skies would preview having music with him. And for a year straight, Lil Baby would try to sign The Kid Leroy. And eventually, in late 2019, The Kid Leroy was signed to Grade A Productions. At the time, The Kid Leroy had a small fan base located inside Australia, but Lil Baby knew since he signed to Grade A that it would be a worldwide fan base. As most of the people that ever listened to The Kid Leroy's music found it appealing, literally all he needed was exposure. So Lil Baby and G Money set up a tour for Juice Road in Australia so Juice and Leroy could kill the stage. And eventually, in the fall of 2019, Leroy and Juice will go on tours together and that will push the kid Leroy's career a little bit, giving him about 100,000 Instagram followers. On that tour, Leroy learned a few lessons from Juice World's career as Juice World showed him how to maintain being a good artist as they were with each other every day. And Bibby did that intentionally because he already knew that the kid Leroy's career was soon going to take off as he already been planning a Lyrical Lemonade music video for him. And on December 6, 2019, the kid Leroy would have a hit song on the Lyrical Lemonade channel called Let Her Go. This this song will make every artist want to sign the Kid Leroy, but they couldn't because he had already been signed to Grade A Productions. And because they couldn't sign him, the only thing that they could do was give his music recognition on their social media. And because there was so much hype around the song, people decided to start listening to it. And the majority of the people liked what they heard. This song would be the first of many more hits from the Kid Leroy, as Leroy in Grade A lives up to the legacy of Juice World. It's been one year since the Kid Leroy's break to success, and looking back at it, the Kid Leroy has accomplished so much things in one year. And that lets you know that the Grade A effect is real and can be put into play with any talented artist. Comment down below who's your favorite artist out of Grade A Productions. Personally, mine's the Kid Leroy, but I want to know who's you guys is. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Jojo Scout underscore. And if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and turn on my post notifications. I post lots of similar content to this. So go check them out. And if you guys like them, please do subscribe, man. Everybody subscribe. Let's get it.